Hi, and welcome to 201 Today. In this episode, we'll take a look at our celebrations for Day of the Dead and La Posada, as well as our boys' basketball teams. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this episode of 201 Today. What can you tell us about this event? Um, it's for the Day of the Dead. What can you tell us about this event? Uh, this event is about, you know, creating and spreading word about El Dia de los Muertos, which is to represent and like to know more about, about the dead and celebrating about them. What can you tell us about this event? Um, it's pretty fun. It's a family event. So this event um, celebrates Day of the Dead. It is a holiday in which uh, we celebrate people that have, have passed um, either recently or a long time ago. Um, it's just a way to have a remembrance of them um, um, currently. What can you tell us about this event? Well, this event was a celebration for um, Day of the Dead, remembering your loved ones, and just like, it's like a big party remembering the ones who passed away and those who are dear to us. Usually the Day of the Dead is used to like remember our loved ones who passed away, or um, we use it to basically honor our loved ones who, who are like no longer with us. What can you tell us about this event? This event is long standing here at the Freshman Center. Um, I'm part of NEIU Bilingual with programs within the school, and I work specifically with the parents, and this is a an event about the tradition um, of our ancestors, you know, that we celebrate in Mexico. What can you tell us about this event? So this is our Dia de los Muertos event. It's one of the biggest events that we have here at the Freshman Center. And it is um, meant to remember our deceased and honor their memories. We have ofrendas, and on the ofrenda we've got food, we've got uh, sugar skulls, uh, and the flores de cempasuchil, which are the biggest symbol for Dia de los Muertos so that they can attract the dead to the altar. What can you tell us about this event? So we've been celebrating Dia de los Muertos at Morton Freshman Center for almost a, over a decade. Uh, Dia de los Muertos is a traditional Mexican holiday close by All Saints Day, and it is a time for us to remember those who've passed before us. What do you like about this event? Um, I love all the art and the cultura and the comunidad, the community coming together. I love to see the students in the cafeteria cooking. So my favorite part is just the community coming together. There's a bunch of families here with their kids enjoying themselves. I was doing activity like face painting and overall just having a good time in general. What do you like about this event? Um, I like that everybody gets to get together and celebrate. What do you like about this event? Um, I just like how everyone comes in with like sugar schools, like makeup, and I just think it's really cool. Like the day of the dead is pretty special to me. What do you like about this event? I just love the, you know, the participation of the parents, of the students, the engagement, because it's the parents and the students that actually create the whole scenery that you see behind me, and it's just a wonderful, colorful event. What do you like about this event? Uh, I like the uh, flocorico dancing. What do you like about this event? What I like about this event is that we can have like this one big party, we can all have music, food, games. What do you like about this event? I love seeing the community come out and enjoy from the little, the little kids getting their face painted to our own high school students, providing crafts, dancing as the folkloric dancers, our mariachi, and then also our parents and teachers all coming together to celebrate one very important tradition. What do you like about this event? I like how there's food <laughs> and that I could just come here and hang out with my friends and learn more about our culture. What do you like about this event? Um, I really like that you know everyone can get together and you know celebrate. We can celebrate our culture. What do you like about this event? What I like about the event is that it does bring the community together. Um, I also am part of the community, and I feel like it does bring a lot of community members together um, in, in one place. What do you like about this event? Definitely the community involvement. It's been such a lovely experience watching all of the students and parents and staff members come together to put it in, in where it's at now. How are you involved with this event? Um, I'm in Folklorico, so I will be performing. How are you involved in this event? Um, I'm a part of the Culinary Club, and we made sugar skulls. How are you involved with this event? So I'm a science teacher at the Freshman Center. Um, I did, uh, my classes grew a whole bunch of marigolds and we gave them out to a whole bunch of people today. So um, that's my, my involvement here. I'm involved in handing out sugar scott that we met at, in Culinary Club. And we just piping them and decorating and handing them to the people so they could do the altar. 
How are you involved with this event? I'm part of NEIU bilingual programs. So I work with the parents and primarily um, also with students. And they also, like I said, they were the ones that took care of decorating and creating all the um, decor for this event. How are you involved with this event? Um, I was part of the coordinating um, team to put together all of the uh, art crafts into the wall and figure out when classes were going to come. How are you involved with this event? My role is the Director of English Learners and Modern Languages and I work with uh, Title III funds and that means that I support uh, family engagement to bring language and culture into the schools and through that support mostly in collaboration with the Freshman Center administration and teachers we put this whole event on with the support of the students and the teachers. What was the most challenging part of making these sugar skulls? It was the, the form, how to uh, create it and to get the correct recipe for the sugar skulls in order for it to form up correctly and for it not to break during the cooking process, including when we put it in the oven and then having, having to pop them out. Some would break during that cooking process, but eventually, a couple hours later, we were able to get the perfect consistency and pop one after the other. We got small ones and big ones and most of them are already gone by now. Why do you think it's important for students to participate in events like this? I think it's really fun. Why do you think it's important for students to participate in events like this? I believe students should participate in this because it's, it's a great experience for, for them to make new friends, to live, to like be with their family and spend time together. I think it's important because they learn how to be more social and they also learn more about their culture. Why do you think it's important for students to participate in events like this? They get more connected with their culture and with their, um, you know, with their ancestors and it's very important because it's a community event. Why do you think it is important for students to participate in events like this? You reconnect with your roots and everything and the other people who are trying to do the same thing, they get inspiration and everything. So they eventually join later, and then it, like a heritage just keeps going on. We can continue our tradition and continue with, like remembering our loved ones who are no longer here. Why do you think it's important for students to participate in events like this? I think it's very important for students to participate in events like this because this is part of the cultura. It's part of our culture, part of our traditions, and we have to keep them alive. I think the the cultural aspect is important for students to understand, like um, to some of the cultures that their parents grew up with, their parents grew up with, to kind of keep that tradition going. Why do you think it's important for students to participate in events like this? When way back in 2012, when we started doing this, we really wanted to provide opportunities for parents and grandparents to share traditions with their teenagers and grandchildren. And so we really wanted to have a traditional event that would bring people back to the times that they experienced these different elements of the tradition in their hometowns. Why do you think it's important for students to participate in events like this? I think it's good to get in touch with culture. Um, like being involved with the Day of the Dead really helps you like remember like your story and helps you remember those that came before you. Why do you think it is important for students to participate in events like this? Um, I think events like this help to build community. So I think it's very important that everybody ta uh, notices that when a village comes together, s massive things like this come to life, and it's such a positive experience.